Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to my CandyStampers.com uh, Candy Stampers live today. Thanks for coming. Today is going to be my part two of my cute paper crafted trucks. I have been having a blast making these and I hope you guys truly enjoy seeing some of these fun things that you can do at home with just a little bit of your tape or adhesives, scissors and cardstock, and of course, coordinating DSP, which Stampin' Up! has the best. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. So thanks for joining me today. I have um, a couple of trucks that are already done, but I'm going to show you how to assemble um, one of them. And I'm gonna be starting off by using our new in color and some of the pansy paper as well. So thanks again for joining me. This one I'm going to be using Dressed to Impress, stamp set and dies. So this is no longer a bundle, but you can still buy the stamp set and the dies in our current catalog. Oh, and speaking of current catalogs, I have, well, they're on their way. But our new holiday or mini catalog for July to December is available. Hi, Ida. And I will be getting my shipment in any day and also our celebration booklet. So Stamping Up is going to do celebration from August through September. It's a new time for them to do this. And I'm very excited about, um, about this celebration coming in. Hello, Jocelyn. Thanks for stopping in and Wilma. So um, if you need a catalog and a celebration uh, booklet, also please let me know. Put it in the comments and I will get that out to you. So as soon as I get them. So again, thank you. And I wanted to start off with the Dress to Impressed stamp set and dies. So this, you know, when you start thinking about all the trucks that are out there, that you see like mobile pet salons. And last week, well, let me just show you last week what I did in case you missed it. I just will kind of run them through here really quickly. So this was my little um, happy birthday, birthday truck, ice cream truck. And it was so much fun to make and I have a little treat inside each one. So these hold quite a bit of a treat, pretty, pretty good size, I wanna say. And this one was really fun. It was a candle wrapped with some cookies. So all of them have a little treat in them and some of them have another treat with the treat. So I will just show you again really quickly what I did. This one was our um, little pet mobile and I was gonna make it a groomer mobile and call it a rumor groomer. But um, but I ended up just making it a little pet mobile. But look at how cute the little pet's in the back. And so we have to keep the flap open for these guys. The other truck had a Velcro, but this one, they have to get some air in there. And in here are some doggy treats and for the human, a little Kit Kat bar. And again, you guys can see that live because I did it last week. So you're gonna have to go back, check it out. You can see it on YouTube under Candy Michael, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and you can also watch it on my uh, candystampers.com site. Under gallery, there's a whole video section. So you can see all my past YouTube, um, sorry, my lives. And then the last one I did was a little snail mail truck. And this was with some happy mail inside. And that was a fun one with a cute, little gift card holder that I'm sorry, I have to tip it upside down. But if you didn't get to see this, this was a really cute little gift card holder and it's made out of a little envelope. And then you just put your gift card inside there. So let me get started with what I wanna show you today. I will make another truck in case you didn't see it, but again, in case you just need to kind of brush up on what I did last week. So let me show you how this works. I have a little, <laughs> and don't mind my scritchy scratches here, but I have some templates that will tell you the exact measurements for the body of the truck and for the roof. 
And once I'm done making this truck, I will drive over a couple other ones that I made this week that I'm so excited for you to see because they came out just so cute. I have to admit, I just think they're adorable. A little bragging time, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I have both these templates. So starting off on the body, this is what I'm going to work with right now. So let me pull this out and move some of these things aside. So with this, these are the measurements and this is what it looks like. And it's hard to see, so I'll show you on here. But once you get it all scored and you have all your score lines, then you're gonna cut up in between all of these areas here. Okay, so these are all gonna fold in. So I shall show you that right now. So on my score lines, I'm going to simply just cut and I, I do try to do it straight. Doesn't always happen. Um, you guys, I'm so sorry. I realized that I never posted the names of the winners for last week to get some little embellishments. So as soon as I'm done here, I promise you I will go post those. I um, have it all written down and I never went back and typed it all in. So I apologize, but I will do that right after this live. Okay, so now that I have all my sides done um, and cut and scored and everything, now I'm gonna show you how you assemble this. So I'll leave this here for one second and then I'm gonna pull it away so I can show you exactly how to assemble this. Oops, that's the wrong one. Next, <laughs> the quick switcheroo, I'm sure you didn't notice. So we're working on the body right now. Next, after that, we'll do the roof. All righty. So all we're going to do is just fold simply on these score lines. And this is what it looks like once we get that part folded. So this is the front part of the truck. This is going to fold in. These pieces will fold in. I'm going to put some adhesive on there and then it will glue down to this and then it'll fold one more time it'll glue like this and then this piece is going to come in like that and this is the chassis of our little truck okay just so you guys can kind of see what it is i'm doing i love using the multi liquid glue because i can kind of move my pieces around if i need to slide them better into place I know that some of my friends that were making them, they like this, it, the terrible tape. Um, and I love our terrible tape because you simply can just pull it off and tear it. So you don't have to keep um, using your scissors back and forth, but of course that's why I call it terrible tape because you can tear it. Ha ha, little fun little pun there. But um, it's just my little fun way of using this stuff. Let me turn this light on because it's kind of, Oh, let there be light. Okay, so I am going to simply just put a little adhesive. And with this glue, you do have to be careful to not get too close to the edge. You don't want it squirting out because it'll be sticky everywhere. So with this, you're simply going to fold that in. And I'm trying very hard to not get glue all over myself. Okay, so we're just going to fold that in. And the thing I love about this is if I need to move it, I can, but if I want it set, it'll stay pretty quickly and not slide around. So that is a nice, a nice little piece to this. Okay, so then next we're going to just simply put a little more adhesive, my multi-liquid glue, and I want it strong to hold. You do want to get those sides scored. I mean, fold it up a little bit. I should have folded that a little bit better, but it's all right. I just roll, roll with it. Okay, so now you just want to make sure that that's all set and press that together. This is such a pretty color. And to tell you truthfully, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> And I know I should know I played with it all day and I'll remember. Give me a minute. If you remember, if you guys know out there, help a girl out. 
and just post it on here because my mind just totally went blank when I was going to tell you the color. It is such a pretty, pretty pink. And it's one of, it's our new in color that'll be good for two years. Hi, Maureen. And again, I can't remember the name, but I will have it for you in just a minute. Okay, so now I am gluing the last piece of this together. And look at that. Our little chassis is almost done. Okay. So now that I have that, I am going to be showing you how to do the roof. And so I'm going to leave this right here for one second. And then polished pink. Sorry, that was driving me crazy. The, the name of this cardstock is called Polished Pink. And I have been playing with it for the last well, the last week, and of course, it left my mind. So now I know, and I feel much better, I can continue. So the next part is our roof. I've already scored it all. And if you notice on here, it's easier to see. Um, this is actually scored down at two and a half inches. It's not in the center. So one side is a little longer, wider than the other. So this side is gonna be our rear door. This piece here gets cut off and this piece here gets cut off. So I'm going to do that so you can see what my um, pink piece, my polished pink piece will look like. So again, I see there's one bigger side and then the smaller side. It's the smaller side you want to cut off. So I shall cut that up the score line. That's it, Jennifer, it is polished pink. Thank you. I um I really struggled with that one. I could, so we've had other pinks in the past and an old name it was positively pink and that's all that kept coming to my mind and I knew that wasn't right. But anyway, so we're cutting these pieces off and sometimes it's a little hard to see your score line. So I am getting it in the right light. And now this piece, I can kind of fold it and see it better. There we go. And it is so much fun playing with scissors, isn't it? I love playing with scissors <laughs> because I can. <laughs> okay, so now this is going to be our roof. And the way it goes is this is the tailgate. So that's going to fold down. These are the sides of the truck right here. And I do want those to get folded in. And this is the roof. And then it's going to get placed just like that. So here's our little back end that'll open. And then here is the front of the truck. So we need next our windshield. And it's easier, as I've done so many of these boxes, it's much easier to add your windshield now. You can do it after it's all glued together, but you're working with a very tight area. So let's do that now. So the windshield, sorry for my arms, but I have everything across from me, of course. So our windshield is um, five and a half by one and three quarters, and it's scored at one and a half and scored at four, and then you wanna score it at, well, this way, at a half inch. So once you get it all scored, which I have mine here, then, and I'm using vellum. So Marsha was helping me make these boxes and you can use like regular solid cardstock, but she thought vellum would look cool because it looks kind of like a window. And you can also use a clear piece, but then you'd really be able to see inside. And this is nice because it just kind of muffles it. But you're going to cut these, these two edges off here. So let me show you how, let me see if that's still in the picture. There we go. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. Oopsie. I'm very clumsy. So I just need to snip these little edges off and right here. And there. 
okay? So that is what it looks like when it's all cut. This side probably won't matter that it's a little crooked because it's going to be tucked underneath. But that is exactly what it looks like. So you need to put adhesive, basically, I will show you how it goes on, but we need to put adhesive here and on the sides. So you do wanna make sure that this folds down also and folds to the back. So the way it would go is, and I'll just hold it in my hand so you guys can get the visual on it, is it's, <laughs> if I can hold on to it, is it's going to go in like this. And then the um, top there is going to sit up underneath the roof and then it will, doesn't that look nice? <laughs> You can't even see it because it's falling off. But anyway, you get the idea of where it has to go. So let me get that glued on. So this piece has to be glued on to here. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. It is so much fun preparing for lives when you're doing like the whole tick tock, tick tock and waiting for that clock to go down. And then you're going, what? I have three minutes. Run and get my water. Okay, so this has to butt right up to the edge because this is going to be in the front. Okay, so we wanna get that down. So this would probably be a good place to use your terrible tape. There, it would hold right where you want it. And so I need it right at the edge and it's a little crooked, so I can still use it or move it. Okay, then this piece here and fold that in and this piece here kind of fold it in these are going to get a little adhesive here and again you don't need a ton you can use your tape or your liquid glue like I am and we're just going to pull this flap up and glue it down See, you just want it flush to the front there. So it's nice and straight. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> okay, and then we want this one folded up. And right there as well. Ta-da! Okay, I can stop holding my breath, right? So if it needs any more adhesive, you can always go back and put a little bit in there. Oh, want me to show you how I do that? So this is Candy's technique. Whenever I need to add extra glue somewhere is I take a scrap of paper and I just go like this. And you know what? It always works. See? I don't have to worry about that anymore. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is this is going to get glued onto here. Now, if you wanted to ahead of time, you could um, do like actual stamping on here before you start gluing everything down. So just, you have to have a visual of what it is you're gonna make and how you wanna put it together. Um, you can also add little tags of things. And I last week, I know I told you guys I would show you what I meant by that. And let me bring that box over here. So I have a little, like my prototype box when I was first making my ice cream one last week. So what I was talking about last week was you can like stamp, and none of these are glued down all the way. You can stamp and and put this is what i do you guys this is really kind of a fun little tip this glue actually has two sides to it so you can use this tip or you can use the fine tip that i am normally using but what i do is i use the flat tip and then i take and squirt some glue out and then i paste or uh, spread it down so it's very thin and when you let it dry it becomes like a post-it note so it's just that removable sticky. And so you can take your pieces and kind of lay them out and move them around. And if you like it on there, then just don't worry about stamping on here. 
first, or if you've already glued it together and you're like, oh no, I need to stamp, just stamp on some little pieces and, and put it on. It's just as easy. And even like this, this comes off because I'll move them around and go, oh, do I like it here or there? But um, I think last week I ended up stamping right on the box before I glued it together. But that's just some helpful tips that you can just add your own little tags on there and not worry about having to stop and do all that. You can go back and do it later. So now we need to glue all of this down. So I am going to take, now one tip on here is this box is only like an inch and a half wide. So you wanna make sure you don't put glue like way up in here. You only need a little bit um, along the sides. Otherwise, you're gonna have an ooey sticky mess. So if you can see, as I hold this in the air, I guess I don't have to hold it, but I really just need some glue here and some glue here. La, 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 la. Gluing is so much fun. Okay, so my trunk, this is the forward part of the truck, and this is the trunk. So I need to get this on here, but I also want to be careful with my glue. So I'm going to put it together and then flip it over so I can see what's happening over here. We're a little uneven, but not for long because I'm going to fix that. So I can straighten out the other panel. And this is why I love using this glue because it allows me to move everything around just enough before it sets. See? And then you can also use like your bone folder and just go inside if you need to, to kind of press that down. If you, if you kind of feel like you need help and your fingers won't go in there, this works really nicely too. So our truck is officially glued together, but now you guys have to see what I'm going to make with this. And this is the best part. So you get to let your imagination just roam. And with mine, I'm trying to decide if I should add the wheels now. Nope, let's do all this stuff first and then we'll add the wheels. So on here, I have the cutest idea. And I just thought it would be fun to have like a mobile salon. So because this stamp set is just a cute little, very girly stamp set, it could be a mobile shoe store. It could be a mobile um, salon. So I was kind of thinking just along the lines of lipstick. And I thought it would be really fun to even have... Um, like a gift card holder to to a salon for somebody to get their nails done or a mani-pedi or something. So you guys can use your imagination on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm using a tag that's out of our Tasteful Labels dies. And it's one of our tags that I, I love. Stamping Up has really hit the spot with coming up with so many different shapes for us to play with. So I'm looking around the room to see what I where I put this, but I'm going to use the um, Freesia, Fresh Freesia ink, and I'm going to also be using the um, Polished Pink ink on this project. So first, let me use the Polished Pink. And this stamp says, Hello Fabulous, which is adorable. And I wanna stamp it off first. Okay, so we're gonna put our Hello Fabulous, which sorry, I have to pull it down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. This is a photopolymer stamp and I have a little foam pad underneath me, which works great for these. They're very flat. So if you're having any trouble getting your images to look good, just put a little foam mat underneath you because it needs to have that little cushion. So we have Hello Fabulous. Next, I'm going to stamp our um, 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 lipstick, the lipstick in the Farisha. 
So I have, actually, I have the Highland Heather also because I needed a darker outlined color. I'm gonna move this to the side. And so I have my Fresh Freesia. Oh my gosh, you guys say that fast three times. And I also have the Highland Heather. So I need to stamp on my Freesia color cardstock. And I just, like I said, I needed it to be a little different, um, darker color. So I'm going to ink up the lipstick, which I think you can see that. And then I'm just going to stamp it right onto my scrap paper. And then I'm going to add, this is so cute. So this is like a little splash of color, like the lipstick maybe ran across it. But I wanted to add... There's something on there. I wanted to add something more to my um, to my lipstick. So I just wanted to add a little splash of color on the edge. So when I die cut it out, you're going to see that it has just a little color on the tip. Cute. Love this set. And I haven't played with it for a while because we had it in last year's catalog. And then sometimes that stuff gets pushed to the side. So I love bringing it back out. So this die is for the lipstick and I'm going to run it through my pretend die cutting machine. Pretend, pretend, pretend. And there is my die cut piece. Woohoo! I am super fast. And you probably didn't even hear it rolling because I'm just that fast. So this piece is going to get glued onto here. And oh, but before I do that, I have to put on my roof. And if I don't put that on, I won't know my exact measurement. So I'm using a piece of our pansy paper and it's three by three, I believe. And then we just scored like a little quarter of an inch. And on this one, you do want to get your um, score lines on there because this is gonna just fit really nicely right over the top, as I say. And so it will just fit right there. So let me glue that down. And the reason I want to do that is because on some of my other boxes, I made them longer and I just wanted to have the right um, spacing. See, I got the words out. Okay, so let's glue this pretty DSP on. And I do wanna be careful to not put too much glue over here. So we don't get that squirt factor that I often talk about. It's, it's, I love this glue, but if you get it outside of where you want it, it can be very sticky. And we don't want any sticky situations. So here we go. Let's put this right on top. And again, it's kind of nice if you need to move it around. And if your fingers aren't long enough, you can use your bone folder to press that down. I love it. So cute. Okay, so there we have a roof. And <laughs> it's looking good. So this little sign is going to go here. You can pop it out. You can lay it flat. So I think I'm gonna lay it flat and pop out the lipstick. So what do you guys think? So far so good? My little mobile salon. Write me comments, let me know what you think. I love to hear from you. Okay, so here we're gonna, oops, push that where it goes. Right about, uh, I made it crooked. Can't have that. There, see, I can still move it barely. And then I'm going to just pop up my lipstick right there because it's so cute. So I love our dimensionals. Look, a brand new sheet. You don't see that very often. I go through a ton of these, but usually they're all cut up and I use every little edge. You guys can use the edges. Some people, I've seen them throw them out and I'm like, no. You can use the edge. So the other thing is, I don't really need this many, but I wanna just show you that um, you can also use the small ones. See, this is more of what they look like, like I've been using them. 
So you can use the small ones, which work really nicely in your little smaller areas. Okay, let's pop the little lipstick up here. Oh, isn't that cute? I want it a little bit higher. There. It's fabulous. So next I want to put on my little wheels. And I will tell you that I used some of our um, retired punches. You can use dies, whatever you have. And very simply, just I just assembled them. So I have like... This one, I believe, is the one inch. And then this is the three quarter inch. And the last one is our half inch. And I'm just going to simply glue those down. You can have bigger wheels if you want. Some of the other trucks have like one and a quarter inch as the first, um, the first circle. The biggest circle of our little tires, wheels whatever you want to call them. I call them as I see them. Okay. So now that I have those on, we're going to simply put our little wheels on here and I do pop them up with dimensionals. Probably could have used the bigger one, the bigger wheels, but that's okay. Um, dimensionals. That's what I was just saying. So if you want, you can just put one dimensional at the top um, I found last week when I was doing this that if you put some heavy things inside, then you may want to use more dimensionals and make your tires or wheels shorter to your truck so you don't get a flat tire. <laughs> because my little pet mobile was actually kind of heavy. So the wheels were doing the splits and coming out the bottom. So you want to be careful with whatever you're putting in here. Hello, Deb, and hello, Stella. I love that name, Stella. Okay. So we have our little wheels. Hopefully those are, I think. Well, I'm going to say that they're lined up. So let's do them on this side. I'll know because it might be a little wobbly. But oh, a little wobble is good, right? Can't hurt anyone. A little wobble will do ya. So we've got, and now this, this can sometimes be the hard part where I try to line it up, but you guys know me, I don't really measure anything. So I just, I just put it on there. We'll see, we'll see what happens. And then I'll show you the rest of my cute little salon on wheels. Whoa, those are really crooked. There we go. Now let's see. Hey, no wobble. I did one of them and it just went like, but this one's looking good. So look how cute. You can even add more designer paper on the side. There's so many fun things that you can do. Okay, let's see. Now we have um, a little bit more. So we have a stamp set that I'm sad to say did retire, but it is so stinking cute. It was the hearts and kisses. And I thought I loved the little kiss on here and it also had a lipstick. But I went ahead and have a piece of scrap paper. I'm sure I'm looking right at it. But I know there's another one here. I don't know what, it, oh, it's right next to me. Ha, huh. if it was any closer, it would have bit me, right? And with this one, I am going to use my fresh Farisha. I believe that's how you say it. And I am going to stamp these beautiful lips. Isn't that so cute? I'm so sad it retired, but you, you can use so many different products that we still have in the catalog. So you could use a really pretty heart, but I had this and I had to use it. So here we go. It also had a punch and I don't normally use retired stuff, you guys, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. And hopefully you have it too. And you got it right before it retired. So I thought these lips were really cute. And so I thought, hey, we should add this to the front instead of putting um, headlights on this one. Why don't we just put a big old smack and kiss right about there? 
Oh my God, isn't that cute? Okay, so then while we're at it, I had another idea and I said to myself, self, I think that would be the stinking cutest thing ever. And this is what I came up with. How about we add some more eyelashes? So if you guys follow me on any of my lives, I've done some really fun cards with eyelashes, actually using that Hearts and Kisses set. Um, you can see them in my past videos, but I think these are so cute. So with this, because my windshield is so small, I'm going to take one eyelash and cut it in half. And these already have adhesive on it, so you don't even need to worry about the adhesive because they're going to stick. So now I have one that's just winking, or hey, I can make another truck. So I'm going to take this eyelash and try to cut it in half. <laughs> and then I'm going to be putting this on here in hopes... Let me put it there for a second, that they're pretty much even. If not, we'll fix it. So on here, let's add a cute little eyelash. Oh my God, that is so stinking cute. Now, the problem I had last time was lining the other one up. And let's see if this looks about the same size. Well, it'll do. But here I'm going to line up, and women out there, you guys that wear these things, I have no idea how you put them on, because I can't even put them on my salon truck. So how the heck you get them on your eyes, I don't know. We need a little separation there. What do you think? <laughs> oh. Stamping makes me so happy. Well, I should say crafting makes me happy. So you can kind of play because this glue is a little pliable. So you can kind of play with it. And it's the glue that it comes with. I don't even have to add any more. So there's the front of our darling truck. And I can always mess with those a little bit later. But I just think they're so cute with a little kiss. Now... The last thing I needed was something for the back. Hmm. How about I use these really cute, oops, I just knocked my trucks over. These really cute ornate frames. And I decided that I would use this one and make it into a little mirror. Oops, my gosh, I'm just dropping everything here. So I don't want the light to shine on it too much but I made it into a cute little mirror by using our silver foil and that is going to just pop right on the back of our darling truck and just simply put a couple on there I could even do if I can get this off I'll do like a triangle come on there see I'll do three Lucky three. There we go. And then just pop this on the back. Oh my gosh. Now we have this cute little mirror and it is adorable. And on the backs of some of the other trucks, I just used some Velcro and I just had it here. Here it is. The problem with this Velcro though, is it is very strong. Like to pull it apart, it's very strong. So you may have some other ideas. Another idea that may work on this one is to just take a piece like this. I had an extra set of lips. The better to kiss you with my dear. And we could just put that right here with a dimensional and then add, I love impromptu stuff. And then just add an extra kiss here. And that kiss will now hold down our mirror. I mean our flap, our back flap. So you can have a kiss there and now your back of your truck will open. So that is another great little fix to the Velcro. And you can just play with that. Add something there to hold it down. Isn't that fun? So there's my cute little truck that I had to make for you today. I was, um, 
or I am going to show you, I was gonna make a gift card holder for this and I'm, I'm sorry, I just ran out of time, but I have one in another truck that you'll be able to see and I will explain to you how I made it. So I hope you love that one. Oh, I do have something for the back of this. What am I thinking? It's sitting right next to me. I have some kisses. I stole these out of the snail truck from last week, but hey, we can always put some kisses in here and a cute little gift card. See, I did have it sitting next to me. And with this, it'll just go right underneath there. So you have a truck full of kisses and a little uh, salon or spa gift card. And what a cute, fun gift to give to your BFF, your mom, your sister, anybody that you can think of. Here, I'll lay it on its side so you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to parade a couple more trucks over here and let you guys see what else I created this week because <laughs> these things are so much fun. I could do a whole nother week of them, I'm sure, because there's so many fun ideas out there. Okay, so there's the one we just made. Here is my next one. And this one is a very simple one, but I thought it was super cute. So I love coffee and I thought it would be fun to have a little coffee truck. When I was a little girl, we used to have, I lived in Southern California near Pasadena and we used to actually have a company called Helms. It was the Helms Bread Company and they would have a really cool paddy truck, like a paddy, I don't know if they called them a paddy wagon, but it was a really cool truck that had the guy would drive down the street and we'd go running out. It was like an ice cream truck. And for 10 cents, you could get a donut and he'd open the big back doors and he'd pull down this big drawer and all you could smell and see were all these donuts. So yes, I like donuts. <laughs> I try not to eat them, but I do love them. And so I thought, well, how cute would that be to have a little coffee truck? Because I also love coffee. So in here, well, let me show you what I did. So I have my headlights and using the silver um, foil DSP or cardstock that we have, I just added some headlights. I used the espresso cardstock to add my wheels. We have this cute little stamp set. Thought I brought it over, but I didn't. Um, it is, I think it's called Brew Up Some Fun. I have it right here, let me grab it. Oh, I was right. It's called Brew Some Fun. <laughs> I love it when I try to use things off the top of my head because they're usually wrong. <laughs> but it's called Brew Some Fun. And it's just one of our simple stamp sets. And I just stamped and die, not die cut. There are no die cuts. I stamped and hand cut the little coffee cup. But I stamped it also on some designer paper and then cut that out to make it kind of pop off more. This is one of our dies that is from nothing better than. And you guys, you could make this, you know, I, I thought it would be a cute cookie truck or a chocolate truck or a coffee truck. But um, again, I love coffee, so I thought it would be fun because I have a surprise inside here too, so you can see what I put inside. But these are a couple of the stamp sets that are current, that are in the catalog. And on the back, I put on here, let's brew up some fun. And just like I did with the lips, I just had hand cut this out and I used that to hold my tag down. I mean, my, um, what do I want to call it? The, the lid, the opening, the back door, the back door. There we go. And these are some chocolate covered um, coffee beans. I got them at Trader Joe's, but and I will have to say they're very delicious. But I thought this truck could be a cute little birthday truck only solely because I went with the theme from this Brew Some Fun. So it has a nice little birthday stamp set in it. You can also do a thank you. Um, for you tea lovers, there's also a tea uh, stamp in here too and a cute little teacup. But um, I thought Brew Up Some Fun, add in a little bit of some coffee beans. But I have to show you this little tip that I did and I'm super excited about it. This also has, wait for it, a little Keurig coffee um, thing, cup, <laughs> Keurig coffee cup. They do make these Ohio State ones and I bought them at Mark's 
Mark's Market over in Westerville. Um, it was a while back, but I'm thinking they still sell them there. But how fun. You could even make this an Ohio State-themed color for all you crazy Ohio State fans. But this was so big, I couldn't get it to fit in my truck. Because remember on this, here's my practice one. This little trunk area is very wide. So I said to myself, self, what is one going to do? So I thought, well, before I glued it all together, I used, um, you can use a die or a hat, like a circle punch and just punch out a notch in there. And guess what? It fit in perfectly. And I can get that in there and get it to stand up. You can fit a gift card in there. You can put some chocolate covered coffee beans like I did. How fun is that? For you coffee lovers, I don't know. You could put your Starbucks coffee. There's a, And there's so many cute little um, mom and pop coffee shops that are local here, you guys. Use them up and get gift cards from them as well because they're just, they're all so delicious. And then I just cut this little guy and put some dimensionals on the back to hold my flap down. Holding my flap. <laughs> and that's something I can't normally do is hold my own flap. So there you go. I hope you love my coffee cup, my coffee cart. But I have one more, and it's my favorite for the, for the day. And it's already done, so I just have to walk you through it. But it is my favorite. And so this one, are you ready? If you're ready, tell me you're ready. Say, come on, bring it on. This one has to come driving through. Beep, beep. Here it comes. Beep, beep. Okay, you ready? Hola, amigo. Look at my cute little mustache on the front. Can you guess what this one might be? Yes, it's a taco truck. <laughs> I made a cute taco truck, you guys. I love this. So I looked online and I found a... um. I Googled on Pinterest or whatever you call it. I did their search and found how to make little paper tacos. And it was hilarious. Just using some of our punches, you can actually cut out sprigs. It was from Patty Bennett and she had a whole little, like a tutorial on how to make them. So I made some small ones, built a little shelf on the side of my truck and um, wanted to stop by to say, hola. And then, of course, I had to add the little mustache. This mustache we used to have, it is retired, but I just thought it was so stinking cute because I have eyelashes on the one truck and I have a mustache on the other truck. And then I have to show you what's inside. But I'm looking for my little shelf piece here. I thought I had it on the table. Candace. If I don't find it, I'll post it on my website. Hmm. Well, I had the explanation on how to make the little shelf, and I had it all scored for you, but I don't see it under all my stuff. So I will, I know it's on this table, but I'll find it and I'll put it on my website when I post all of this. Okay, so on this, all I did was just not glue this flap down. I did use the dies that we have. <laughs> I didn't write down the name of it, but it's what went with our old, um, it was the coffee set that we had in the old last time catalog. Sorry, you guys, I didn't write it down. So I'll get all of that and I'll have it all listed for you. So on the back, I decided to name my truck the Happy Taco. And I ended up making three of these little tacos. And then I have another little surprise for you inside because you are my friends, I'm going to share with you, okay? Yes, I grew up hearing Spanish spoken in my household, so I have the accent, but I'm not bilingual. But I still love to talk and use it, just like my grandparents used to do. So I did use some Velcro to open the back, and let's peek and see what's inside. Oh my goodness. You are not going to believe what is inside. Hi, Deb. <laughs> Taco truck is the bomb. Hot tamales! By the way, my parents knew to name me Candy because I like 
most candy that's out there. And so I had to buy the hot tamales. Could not figure out what to put on top. So I just cut the box up and put this on there for you guys. So you could be my see my visual of my little hot tamales that are in my little taco truck. But the best part about this taco truck is the little gift card holder. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. And guys, please make comments. I love hearing from you. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Bing. Today is a taco kind of day. <laughs> this is my gift card holder. Again, I made a muy grande taco to put on the front, and it is all glued down, a very big taco. And this today is a taco kind of day. And when you open it up, it's a little gift card holder. So I'm just going to walk you through the very basics of how to make this. Not the taco, because that would take me too long. But just using a note card sized envelope. This is all I did. But, oh my God, I hope you guys love my little taco, taco truck. So you're going to take your uh, note card envelope and simply fold it in half. You can do it either way. It has to go the other direction, but I'm just going to do it this way. And then you want to go back the other way. But first, before I fold it back the other way, it's very bulky because of this piece. So what I've learned from all of these is to cut just a little bit out of the middle here. So you're just going to kind of cut that little... Um, fold that little score line that we just folded and now it takes that bulk away so now when you fold it the other way it really does close much easier so that's all you're going to do here you can then take and glue this down or you can take and just fold them in you can leave this as an open pocket if you wanted to put money or a check that would be pliable um or you can just take and glue that down, which is what I did. And then you could tuck that flap in or you can have it just hang out over the front and then you can also decorate it. There's so many different ways to do it. Um, but basically the differences here or the tip is to cut that little, that little piece out because it is very bulky right there and it's just harder for it to lay flat. And that's all I did for this. And then when you open it up, I did glue this side down. I tucked that flap in. You could cut it off. And then your Taco Bell or favorite Mexican restaurant that's in your local town, gift card can go right there. And you can give this little cute taco truck to a friend, a neighbor. But I like to share with my amigos or my amigas, both. <laughs> So again, on the roof, I just, all I did was um, cut the same piece down, but I used the die that we had that went on the coffee mugs and just laid it over the top after I cut it off. And it gave it that cute little look for the um, little flag over, the, not the flag, the little ledge here. I can't think of what I want to call it because I've talked too much. But again, I will show you how I made my little shelf, which was super easy, just playing with some cardstock. And um, I'm so mad that's not sitting here. But anyway, I will share it with you, share the measurements of everything again. I will have all of this pictured. And um, wow. So that was my that was my fun that I had to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. We have our coffee, we have our tacos, we have our cute little um, mobile salon. And again, give me some comments. Anybody that comments, I will pick one winner and I will send you the little gift card holder and I will send you a gift inside it, a gift card. So... Give me some comments, share with your friends. Even if you share, I will also put your name in a drawing. Um, <laughs> thanks, Maureen. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. I just can't tell you how much fun I have making these. And I love the fact that you join me every week and share with me as well. Quick shout out, Stampin' Up! is doing a designer series paper sale right now. 
And we have quite a few of them that are on sale, not all of them. But if you order through me, I will, I will um, send you a, a little thank you. And again, thanks for joining me. Here's my trucks from last week. If I can squeeze them all on the screen, I will. But I love my taco truck. That's probably my favorite one. Well, they're all my favorites. I love them all. What can I say? Thanks, guys. I'll be back next week for some more fun. The 411 with some more stamping fun. Thank you again. Have a great week. See you later.